Hello, Tom here from Lawrence Systems. We're going to show you how to uninfect and clean up a junked up computer with all the common toolbars and junkware tools here. Uh, we have a brand new load on this machine here and we went to a couple websites and it took no time at all to get all of this on here. Uh, this is all scamware, junkware, although they do claim that they're a Microsoft partner, uh, gold application development. It's all scams and junk uh, that want money out of you in order to clean this up. So we're going to show you the real quick way you can clean this up yourself. Uh, click on start. First thing we're going to do is uninstall some of this junkware. And what I typed in was appwiz.cpl and that's a shortcut to go right to the control panel uh, programs and features so you can remove programs. Now because we just loaded all this junk on the computer, we're, once this loads here we're going to sort by the install date and we'll look at the install list. So right here is where we started installing the crapware, which was this one system care and all that. We're going to start just removing these and uninstall each of these, including this alleged Google Chrome that was free. It's one of the searches we put in there uh, was for Google Chrome, and one of the ads was for a bad version of Chrome. It looks real, but it's not. I'm going to run through this one by one and uninstall these. Now you do have to be patient. I may fast forward some of these parts here showing you how uh, I uninstall them so it save you some of the tediousness. It's just a matter of going through each one, nexting and yesing until they're uninstalled. You can also try to close some of these ones running in the background. Sometimes they'll close, exit, this will speed up the computer, remind me later close that, that, that. They will keep popping back up from time to time until they're completely removed from your computer. And for each one that uninstalls, they usually pop up another window. Sometimes if they refuse to uninstall, you can just reboot the computer and start the process over um, and they'll uninstall. Sometimes they'll tell you that it's still running. Go through each one, uninstall it, reboot, uninstall, reboot. So far, they're all going pretty straight forward. Yes. This one requires a restart, so we'll go ahead and let the computer restart here. And as soon as the computer starts back up, it's got the pop-ups and everything in there again. I'm gonna close them. Yes, remind me later. Close. Back to start, and then just right here, you type appwiz.cpl. This one wants to restart as well, so we'll go ahead and let it restart the computer again. You just have to keep going through this process with each one of the programs that's on here. Now the, the programs you have in your list may be different than the ones in here. Um, you just kind of have to use discretion to find out which one on there, which ones you want to do. This is like discount remover. You look for programs that you think, you know, you don't know, you don't think they should be in there. That one didn't want to remove. That's all right. This is where the tools come in for here. And I've already got them downloaded into the downloads folder. I have the links on my website showing you how to download them. First thing we're going to do is run JRT here. Just double click it. It may want to run an update. Just say yes. And you'll download the new version right to your desktop right here. Double click and run. And this will run through the GRT junkware removal tool, which will start the part of the cleanup process. And it's pretty automated. It's just going to go through, run through, and automatically delete a lot of the crapware that may be left behind that didn't get it uninstalled. And I'll fast forward through some of this process. 
How fast it will run really depends on your computer. The slower your computer is, the longer these tools take to run and the longer the uninstall process takes. This computer is really fast and you can still see it pauses as it goes through step by step on here. If you have a five or six year old computer, this process might take 15 or 20 or even 30 minutes to complete. Okay, once the system's done, you'll see the log file pop up. It tells you what it may have removed, things it found. Let's go ahead and close this. And that part's done. Okay, next tool on the list is running uh, CCleaner. This will clean up a lot of temp files. Really simple tool to use. Leave it on your computer even when you're done. Uh, you can leave all the shortcuts. It will install Google Chrome if you wanted to. You can uncheck the box so it doesn't. Unless you wanted to install Chrome. And you just hit analyze, it finds all the temp files, and then you can just run, okay, and it'll clean them all right up. Cle deletes all the cookies and a lot of other just miscellaneous temp files left over. It also saves you some scanning time with the later tools. Next on the list is TDS Killer. This is a quick check to see if you have any root kits that came with the viruses or malware that you may have inadvertently downloaded. Just as a quick check and let you know if there's anything in there, if there's anything to remove. And there's a couple things in here. We're going to go ahead and tell it to delete whatever these things are it found. And reboot. And it'll finish deleting those. And go ahead and say run when it does this because this is the tool running to finish deleting. And we'll run the scan again to make sure it got everything off the computer. And now it's clean, no threats found. All right, we're going to go back to our downloads. And run ADW Cleaner. Just say I agree. And this one's really simple. Just hit scan. All right, and it'll list in here under services, folders, files it found, shortcuts, registry entries, add-ons for Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome and automatically have an option to delete them. So these are like add-ons inside of each of the browsers. Uh, you don't really have to do anything. By default, it checks all of them for you. Just hit clean. It wants to make sure you okay to remove it. If there's any of these uh, things you wanted to keep on here, you could always uncheck the box and it would keep them on there for you. There's nothing in there I want. It's 99% accurate at finding all things that you don't want removing them. So we're just gonna click okay. It's gonna clean it and it's going to want to restart the computer. And it gives you a list of all the things it deleted on restart. Just close that unless you want to read through the details on there. And you can run it a second time if you want to make sure it got everything. I kind of recommend doing that in case it did miss something. You can just rerun the scan again. You can see this is all clear. Found a couple other things in the registry. It'll remove if we tell it to. There's just some leftovers. Uh, hit clean. Okay. <clears throat> go ahead and let system reboot one more time, and it should be good to go. Last but not least, we're going to run malware bytes on this. This will install the latest version of Malware Bytes Anti-Malware on the computer. It's a great, very thorough tool. It does take a long time to run, but when it's done, it's going to clean up the computer very well. Close and it installs an icon on the desktop. And we're going to go ahead and scan now. 
and this takes a little while. The more files you have, the longer it takes. If you have a hard drive absolutely loaded up with millions of files, millions of pictures, you're going to spend a long time scanning. But it does thoroughly go through the whole computer, finds and deletes any junkware that's on here. And once malware bytes is all set, it brings you an option by default they're all checked to remove them. Just hit remove selected. Say yes. And it's going to reboot and finish the removal process. And then the computer should be all cleaned up. Once it's done and rebooted, I would recommend one more time running malware bytes. Okay, the computer's now rebooted. We're going to run Malwarebytes one more time just to see if there's anything else that may have been missed. Just hit scan now and let it run through the process one more time. And what you want to do is each time you run this, you run through, it deletes anything it finds on reboot. It should be all clear just in case it's not or in case it missed something. That's why you want to run it a second time or even a third time to make sure each piece is removed. And once you're all done, you should be able to go right back into your browsers and use the computer like normal again. All right, now we have no threats identified, all the items scanned, and it is good to go and the computer's all cleaned up. Thank you very much.